Borders online magazine outside Westminster on Budget Day. Um, I have pleasure in introducing um, Adam uh, from a disability... Dis disabled People Against Cuts. Okay. Um, can you tell me what your mission is today, please? Uh, the mission for today was to come out in solidarity with uh, UK Uncut and other groups uh, to protest against the budget, against the cuts, against the needless suffering of people. Uh, each of us have our own agendas. Mine is disability focused. Uh, and how, is, um, how is the budget going to affect your own personal disability? Um, I, from what the little I've heard so far, it looks like um, I'm, uh, that there are some benefits, but they're going to we're going to have to wait three years before we get them. Uh, but in the meantime, we're probably going to lose uh, uh, some more money, about twelve pounds, I think, uh, a week. Uh, How are you going to manage? Is that going to affect you? It's. It, we're, I'm already. But as a family, I have uh, two. I have twins of one-year-old twins. Uh, my wife, who works part-time, and myself, who I work when I get commissions. Otherwise, I'm. I'm not working. Um, so it's very difficult for us trying to manage day to day, week to week. Uh, we already had a, a situation where they were threatening to um, repossess our house. I'm in a shared ownership property. Uh, the mortgage company were being a bit silly while my wife was on uh, maternity leave. So it's been a real struggle over the past year. Do you, do you think that maybe the £100 billion that the government are spending on Trident should maybe be spent in other departments that may be able to contribute to helping you a little bit more? I think, uh, yes, of course, that is the situation. I mean, we don't need Trident. We're, the, the world has moved on. We're, we're not in a Cold War situation anymore. And to be honest, Trident is outdated. So uh, uh, wh where's the sense in keeping something that is outdated? The problem, the, w w one of the problems the government say <laughs> is that they inherited debt. And that's one of the problems. That's why there's cutbacks, because the, com the country's bankrupt. What do you say to that? Well, the country's bankrupt. It, uh, bankruptcy is not down to the individual man on the street, the man and the woman on the street. It's not down to the disabled people. Uh, the, the, you know, they, they, the, the government have tried to insinuate that um, you know, everyone scroungers, etc. They've complained about the increase of numbers on disability living allowance. Uh, and as I've challenged them in the past, why have these numbers increased? There have been several conflicts across the world that the UK have been involved in. Mm. And uh, we've got servicemen and women coming back with missing limbs and uh, uh, mental health issues. Okay, so, That's so, so, where so, the numbers uh, have increased. So, so in one sentence, what's your message to George Osborne on Budget Day? In one sentence. To George Osborne, get a grip on reality. Realise that, excuse me George, you yourself are avoiding huge amounts of tax. It's the 120 billion that's been avoided by, by rich people by big company businessmen, by MPs and yourself, George. You're the ones that need to pay. Okay, thank you very much. David Barry, Green Borders Online Magazine, Westminster. Thank you.